Hi, this is Ryan Fewens, Bliss, Executive Director of the Michigan College Access Network, coming to you with some of my friends from the Upper Peninsula to celebrate our College Access Impact Awards for 2020. Normally, we would be in a gala ballroom in Lansing, 650 of our closest friends sharing some cheesecake to celebrate these awards. Unfortunately, the pandemic has got us down. But instead of uh, giving it up to the global pandemic, we're going to make sure we still bring really positive attention to those making a difference across the state. We're excited to do that today. Uh, this is our sixth award we're presenting, if you've been following along, six out of 10. Uh, we've honored five other great organizations and people before this, and we've got four more after this. Excited to continue to bring positive attention to folks that are working on behalf of students and families across the state. This is our sixth year of offering the College Access Impact Awards. We launched these to celebrate our fifth birthday uh, back five years ago. We're celebrating our 10th birthday this year. We use these awards to honor those who have gone above and beyond for post-secondary attainment through our College Access uh, Awards at our conference. These awards shine a light on individuals and organizations, partnerships, collaborations, groups of folks that have exceeded expectations to make a positive impact on increasing college readiness, participation, and completion in the state, which is right out of our mission statement. Each honoree has worked incredibly hard over the course of the past year, but these awards are not a one-time award for one-time effort. This is really about a body of work that these organizations and people have brought to the table. Uh, today, we're celebrating with the Marina Award. All of MCAN's awards are nautical themed. We're excited to present the Marina Award today. Boosting the college access expectation in schools on the ground level helps drive the state toward our 60 by 30 goal. And that 60 by 30 goal you all know is increasing Michigan's proportion of residents that have a post-secondary degree or certificate to 60% by the year 2030. Engaging schools to urge students and parents, staff and administration to take direct action creates a sense of urgency around the post-secondary planning process. While developing programs helps improve outcomes, the real impact comes from systems and culture change. The recipient of the Marina Award is a school that has advanced the college going culture and tackled the systems level change within their school. I'm incredibly excited to share this year's award with our friends at Escanaba High School. They are this year's Marina Award winner. Escanaba has shown excellence in creating systemic initiatives within their school. This past year, they've partnered with Bay College on two very important large scale efforts, including the creation of a senior math transition course to assist in reducing the number of students needing developmental math after graduation and implementing a required seminar course to support fourth and fifth year early middle college students to ensure they both have successful, excuse me, to ensure that they are both successful while in the EMC program and also into the transition into their next step upon completion of their fifth year. Escanaba High School has implemented college access campaigns with vigor, leading them to be an innovative leader across the state. High school buildings across the state, especially in rural communities, could certainly learn a lot from Escanaba's efforts. It is for these reasons and many, many more that we're incredibly proud to recognize the work of Escanaba High School this afternoon. I want to say congratulations to Darcy Stenfers, principal, Liz Shenvolt, uh, school counselor, and Katie Curtis, school student services coordinator for EMC and dual enrollment. They join us all here today and the lovely uh, Crystal Award sits in front of them as well. I hope they're showing it with pride. I'd love to turn it over to Liz uh, at the high school to share a little bit about their work and to hear her remarks. Liz, take it away. Thank you. Um, I'm honored and pretty proud of our group and everything we've done um, to receive this award. The Marina Award was totally unexpected when we received the call. So it was a nice little pat on the back, I guess you could say. I want to thank MCAN and our local DCAN with um, Ms. Becker for their support and encouragement to even apply for the grant, the, um, to get involved, to utilize everything MCAN has to offer to help our district be stronger and to support our students and everything that they could achieve. Um, our team is so important. This is just three of the people of our team, 
But we have um, Chris Aiken, who is the head of student services with um, specializing with students with special needs. We have our representatives at Bay College who've worked with us and we can pick up, they're on speed dial and they go above and beyond to help us and help our kids in figuring out what's best for them. And um, just our community is seeing a small shift that's positive to the value of all the things that further education has to offer. And that's something that I'm proud of and I'm excited about for our students and for them as they get older in their lives. Um, I'd like to say a special thank you to one, my own children, who have oftentimes been the guinea pigs of my ideas and as I bounce them off them to see, what do you think about this? Would you like this? How should we do this? But also um, a big special thank you to Jamie Jacobs because she, um, her enthusiasm is super contagious and you cannot be in the room without, with her without becoming excited about what you do. And she's always reached out and kind of pushed, encouraged, shoved me to think outside the box. And um, without her doing that, I'm not sure we'd be here today doing these things. So I have a huge thank you that goes to her and to MCAN for those opportunities to bring opportunities to our students. That's my thought. <laughs> Katie? So I <laughs> just wanted to say thank you as well and that we are a team and we work as a team and this recognition just gives us a reward for our hard work and everything that we've put into our program. Um, it helps our continued growth in our early college program in our community and we just entered into our largest cohort with our new cohort coming in. So 70 students signed up for early college this time which is a wonderful number that we're very excited about. And every year the SES, low SES students gets more and more. So increasing that access and things like this award only helps us get the word out and improve our access to community higher ed for our students. With the $14,000 average of tuition, we told them that they could be saving a million dollars between the 70 students in that first year with it being a free year of school. So just the savings to our community, that's huge. It's a nice sales pitch. Mm -hmm. You can save the local community, you know, a million dollars. But we're very excited for the years to come. Well, that's great. I love that you've quantified your work in that way. It's both meaningful and tangible. Congratulations on this award. Uh, you all deserve it. I have three children of my own. I see what our educators are doing right now to keep things going, to keep their own health and spirits going. Uh, so please, please, please share MCAN's uh, affection with the rest of your team as well. We are incredibly pleased to be joined not by one, but two different uh, elected representatives from uh, the Escanaba area who are here to join us in bringing some positive attention to Escanaba uh, High School. We have Senator McBroom and Representative Lefebvre. I'm gonna ask uh, Senator McBroom if you've got some remarks that you wanna share with Escanaba High School and then Representative Lefebvre, I'm gonna turn it over to you. Well, thanks very much for the opportunity invitation. Uh, it's great to be with you uh, through technology since that uh, seems to be our mode of functioning these days. And I uh, just wanna give a special thanks to you know, Escanaba High School and, and the wonderful people that are with us today and, and the folks who work there every day who are tirelessly trying to find new ways for our students to access a better education. Um, we're very privileged to have Bay College and Northern Tech and LSSU in the UP, um, Go Gibbick as well, but there's still so much, um, you know, access issues for students and um, it's the hard work of our professionals at our schools that are making it possible. And when we have additional hurdles to encompass, they get creative and they find these great opportunities to do it. And uh, it's really nice that the College Access Network is providing this special recognition, this award, and uh, you know, it uh, gives some pride for Escanaba and something for our other schools in the area to continue to aspire to. So congratulations to everyone at Escanaba and uh, thank you to the Access Network. 
and thanks again for letting me be part of the day. Well, thank you very much for having me on. Senator, thank you for stealing what I was going to say. Uh, really, really uh, is nice to be here and to hear the amazing testimonial of, of Escanaba and, and what you guys have been able to accomplish in getting people access to education and in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, we have fantastic jobs that are available to uh, our, our people, the people that grew up here, that were born and raised here. But sometimes you need a certificate for that job. Um, and, and sometimes you need to just be explained that, you know, this, this is a really good salary right down the road. Uh, and having access to programs such as what Escanaba Public School is, is offering through Bay College is amazing. And, you know, one of the biggest things that I've been working towards is making sure that our kids know they can get a job locally and, and they don't have to uh, leave after graduation from high school and college. So uh, to see the great work that's happening in our backyard is, is, is fantastic. It's inspiring. And I hope that it continues and, and knowing the people that work at Escanaba High School, I have no doubt that this program will continue successfully uh, and be replicated across the whole UP in the state of Michigan. So thank you everyone for what you're doing. Thank you for uh, being a part of our students' education, especially during this trying time and um, continue to be safe. And I hope that you have a great week. Thank you. Well, thank you, Representative and Senator. Uh, thanks for joining us. I know it's a day before the uh, election. I know lots of folks are really busy in your uh, jobs. It's really nice that you were able to carve out time to help us celebrate Escanaba High School. Thank you to Liz and Darcy and Katie. Keep up the great work. Know that MCAN is your partner in this work and we're happy to continue supporting you. Uh, from here and beyond, let us know how we can be supportive and especially in spreading the news of uh, your honors today. If you've been following along at home watching our awards, you know we have four more great awards to come, uh, four great organizations and people we wanna bring honors to. So stay tuned for our next award winner coming up next. <laughs>